Jim Jim Parquet here with VPX Baseball and today I'm going to give you a pro caliber cool down, right? You just threw 100 pitches, 70 pitches, whatever it might be and uh, you basically can't wipe your own ass right now and you're just like this. I just finished out doing a bunch of uh, our pitching videos and my arm is just barking, right? So obviously we want to make sure that we have the proper implements. Our 12 piece torsion velocity band system, you can get it on our website, is phenomenal. Used all across Major League Baseball, um, college uh, softball, college baseball, because it's, it's, it's universal. It gets you the strength component. Um, it's got online video for uh, a full torsion strength program and cool downs and all that stuff. Check it out on our website, right? But I'm gonna give you a good cool down here. And uh, just got in, right? Make sure you run before you do this, right? We wanna run and then do this. Don't do your icing or any type of post game therapy uh, uh, before you do this. So it should go where after you're done, you get your cardio in, right? Get that good flush, get the, get the blood flow going. That way we can get, uh, get good blood in and bad blood and particles out, right? Um, then after that, then you're gonna do your band work or this cool down that I'm giving you. And then after that, then you'll get your ice, your comfort ice, your stem, and all those types of things. So basically we're gonna start off first. We're gonna get on our bands, right? These bands are the smoothest in the industry. They're so super smooth. And they have a huge range of motion. I mean, I'm still not feeling that reverb. I hate the bands when I play that you get out here and they start reverbing on you like that, like you're seeing because they're stretched too much. But these ones right here, man, it's just super silky smooth. And I'm telling you, I absolutely love these things. But we're gonna start out here and we're just gonna get our arms going, right? We're gonna activate those shoulders, right? We're creating small little uh, rotations here. We're getting our labrum going, our scap loading, unloading. We're getting all of that stuff just kind of activated. Then when you feel better with that, then we're gonna get a little wider, right? And we're gonna stand tall. And what I wanna do is make sure that I get wide and then in, wide and then in. The wide will give you some tension on your scap, right? Now the wrong way to do this is to be chest in. The right way is to be chest out, wide and in, wide and in, okay? So we're going in here, and I, I don't really like to do reps. I like to do it on a 30 second on, 60 second off, right? 30 seconds. And one of the things that you want to understand about cool down is you're not trying to build. You're just trying to bring everything back into the proper range of motion, right? Because when you throw your flexors, your cuff, your labrum, all of the things, the components that go in with your shoulder and, and building good health um, within your shoulder and support is basically stressed, right? It's pulled, okay? And it's kind of like a rubber band. It's just kind of like laying there, so to speak, and you want to bring it back in. And that's what a cool down does, especially with the blood. It comes in fresh blood, right? It comes back in and then brings it back. So that way you can compete or have better recovery rates, right? So again, I'm gonna get right here. I can start off like this, boom, okay? Get right in here, start activating, go opposite, obviously. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, 60 seconds, somewhere in there. But don't go to a point where you're just dying. Right? Because you're already or you're already built a, a good work plane out there on the mountain. Hopefully you got a W out of it, right? And then I'm gonna stand tall, chest out, same thing. Okay? Back and forth, get that, okay? Now I'm gonna work on my cuff. Okay? First things first. Cuff can be worked down below, it can be worked up top, right? But I want to also activate my lower half and my core with that because I'm building that kinetic chain because that also has broken down. So I'm gonna start right here. Okay, and I'm gonna just be on that cuff, right? So I'm gonna take this here, and I wanna be even, okay? So I'm gonna be right here. We've got these um, ankle wrist rates, or, or ankle wrist straps. They're awesome because they go around anything. It also comes with a door jam, right? So if you're at home, or you can use the carabiner and just clip onto any you know, fence and that kind of thing. But you can go fast post, you can be at home and do it, right? Hopefully you know you don't you don't pitch and then go all the way home because kind of defeating the purpose. But I'm gonna get out here where I feel a little tension. I always did this with my bands. I get out here if I'm if I'm right here and it's it's too loose, I didn't like that. 
right? And I didn't want to be here where it's too tight, right? This is too much tension, too much workload, okay? I want to be in here where I feel a little tension and it's just kind of right in there. Not too saggy, not too tight, okay? Now I'm going to be here, I'm going to go arm behind in the small of my back. That's where you want to be, okay? Second thing is, is guys will do it like this, which basically does not activate your shoulder, okay? Or, or your cuff, right? We want to be chest out, okay? And feet together, not feet spread, but feet together, chest out, standing tall, and we go slow, right? 30 seconds on, and I'm not coming out, okay? That's the key. Don't come out to that big range of motion, because that's not realistic. We're gonna come out to maybe about, you know, this would be 90, maybe, maybe about 100, 110. Boom, hold it, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. The key on this is not to go out. My elbow has to stay connected with my hip, with my side here. See that? That's correct. No gap. This is not correct. If it's like this, it's because you're too far out. Watch what happens when I get out here. It's harder, right? You see the gap. So I'm gonna come in. If you're a little weaker on it, it's fine. Boom, right there. Okay, when you get out to the end, you should feel a little tension, but not too much. If it's burning on the back, obviously you're doing too much, right? You just want to feel it enough. The other one is don't be like this. Straight wrist. Your thumb should be point, should be parallel with your bicep right here. Boom. Two, three, right? And then out. Two, three, down. Okay? That would be exercise number one. If you want to do it with your opposite, you can too. Okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on this side, right? So I'm going to get on the camera angle here so you can see it, right? So well, I'll just do it right handed, okay? So I'm just doing it right handed now. Now you're gonna go on your internal rotation, right? Because you're internally rotating or, right? So same thing, I'm not gonna get out wide. I'm gonna keep it connected right here. I'm gonna be chest out, put your hand back, and then I'm just gonna come out and try to touch my stomach almost. And then I'm gonna come back to that 110, right there, okay, degree. This is 90, that's 110 and then come back, okay? Now, if you notice, I'm not like this with my shoulders, okay? I'm facing the catcher right here. I'm facing the catcher, this is very important because if I go like this, then my start point's gonna be here, okay? I don't want that, that doesn't do anything for me. I wanna be chest plane is facing the catcher, okay? I'm basically right here like this, chest out, and then I'm coming in, holding it, two, three, back, one, two, three, back, okay? Pretty basic, okay? After that, I'm gonna go down to up on this plane, okay, on my cool down. So I'm gonna bring this back down here, and I am going to get in this position right here, okay? I'm gonna go right here. This would be internal rotation, right? Internal rotation, okay? Now on this one, a lot of guys, what they do is they turn and do it. This is basically doing nothing for you because it's not supported. You want to be supported, so you want the shoulder, the elbow, where your back knee is. You don't want to do it like this, okay? You want to get in that good stride position, chest out, pinch your shoulders. Very important to pinch your shoulders here. This has to be back. I'm going to be standing tall, and I'm going to create that power sail right here, right? This power sail. This is not good when you're doing it. This is good, chest out initiates the scaph loading and creates the good kinetic chain reaction, plus it helps you support what you're trying to accomplish. The other thing is your elbow should be parallel with the ground. Guys do this, wrong. Guys do that, wrong. Keep it parallel. Good support right here, chest out, and make sure that your shoulders are not turned or turned and maintain this while you're doing your rotation, okay? This is what we want right here. This is not what we want, okay? You don't move forward with your shoulder. You don't move back. You wanna be right here, boom, okay? So if I'm doing this right, I'm gonna get in here. It's gonna look like this, chest out to you, and I'm just gonna rotate. I always knew that I was doing it right when this band came over this portion right here. So. Right here, if the band's coming over this portion, I'm good. If I come out, watch what happens, okay? 
So this would be correct. You can see the band, I'm just going down too far for you so you can see it. If I go forward, the band doesn't get there. If I'm too far back, it doesn't get there. So I wanna feel that band come right over the bottom of my bicep, okay? And when I'm doing this, I'm not getting all the way back. I'm gonna go maintain a 90. So a 90 here, and then also you can see, right, that I'm even with my ear. Don't go behind your ear. Just even with your ear, and then it's down. Two, three, up. I'm not gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna go even with the, parallel with the ground. Two, three, up. Two, three, up. Now you can do it, okay? Well, we'll get into that one next. And then we're gonna go, same thing here. Same idea, same everything. This would be external rotation right here, okay? So I'm gonna come out, same thing. So on the side view, chest out, I'm in my stride position, hand back, right here, even, and I'm gonna pull up. One, two, three. Don't go like this, that's wrong, right? Be here, boom, two, three, down. Notice my wrist placement, it's not like this, it's up, okay? Very important, all right? But you have to understand that your cuff muscles are very tiny. Boom, boom, boom. If you get anything more than a five to eight pound weight, as far as like guys, like pro guys, you're actually gonna start to activate your big shoulder muscles because that's how your body works. So then therefore your shoulder, your big shoulder muscles, your delt and all that, your trap is gonna start to activate. And then that, what it does is it shuts down those little muscles, right? but we want those little muscles to work. So therefore we have to be slow, steady, and maintain posture. I see too many guys out there on the field just doing all these different things in here and their, uh, their form is incorrect. It'd be basically like me being on a squat rack and just squatting like this, right? It's not doing anything. It's actually probably gonna do damage. Form is everything in all of your cuff exercises, <coughs> your band work and that kind of stuff, okay? So we got, we got our arm um, circles. We got the flat internal external. Now we got the over the head, we'll call it internal external, okay? Then we're gonna start to build our, or, or, or get a good cool down with our, with our scap loading and unloading. So I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna get in my legs a little. Again, I don't wanna overstress. I just want, I want it to be like this. I don't wanna be way out. I just wanna be in here. So I'm gonna come up, hold it down, up, hold it, down, okay? Not gonna use my body, I'm just gonna be right in here, hold it, down. And notice I'm not coming way up, wrong, okay? I come out to that 45, hold it, two, three, down, okay? Get those in. Then the next one I like is a full range of motion, activates all of your glute, your, your core, and your shoulders, the fronts and backs of the shoulders as well as the right. So I'm gonna get underneath, come up, Two, three, all the way down, up, two, three, okay? If you wanna get crazy, you can do one arm type of stuff, that's fine, right? Now I wanna come across here, okay? So I'm gonna be here, and I'm gonna come across, two, three, down. I'm gonna come here, and across, two, three, down, okay? And if you look on the back end, I'll do it sideways. If you look on the back end, notice my scap is loaded. That's what I want. That's what I'm concentrating on is a good scap load right here, okay? So again, from the front side, it's gonna look like this. Good scap load, chest out, down. Chest out, down, okay? That's all I would recommend for your band work as far as your cuff and your scap loading on your cool down. Check out our other videos for all of the other type of post, um, post game, post bullpen, long toss, type of uh, type of type of routines that we have right but uh, for your band work that's what I recommend now we're gonna move into kind of an oscillation aspect right so our torsion system comes with a bar this thing is phenomenal it's gonna actually take your game to the next level and your recovery rates the next level build strength all kinds of things so I'm gonna hook this bad boy in here okay we're gonna get out here, we're gonna get on the inside, right? So for this aspect, I'm gonna get wide, I'll be here, come out, two, three. And what this doing is stabilizing, right? It's giving me good stabilization. It's kind of like this one right here. You see guys where they're just like this, right? But 
Now we don't have to get down and dirty, okay? So we're coming here, boom, two, three, okay? 30 seconds on, rest, okay? Then the next one, same thing, we're gonna come here, but we're gonna rotate because we want the full range of motion. So now when I come on this side or this side, what it's doing is it's building the outside, right? It's helping that outside, which is that D cell or that internal pronation that you feel right here, okay? And we want that. We wanna, we wanna get that back into, into sync, right? So you come out, boom, rotate, okay? Here's the next one. Our shoulder oscillators, and you can find all of these drills on our website in the torsion program. It'll help you guys big time, right? So we're gonna come out here and we're gonna oscillate again, right here, chest out, and we're gonna oscillate. Man, I can feel that awesome. It feels good right now after I've thrown a bunch of pitches during our, our filming and I'm feeling it, range of motion, I'm feeling some good stuff, boom. I'm coming here, I'm activating my rotation, boom, okay? And bring it down, come up, boom. Okay, so we're gonna get out and do it the opposite. So we're gonna come here and then um, rotate or, or, or oscillate, okay? But what I'm doing is I'm building the front. So again, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna oscillate and build the front, okay? Right here, okay? And then we're gonna get in this position here. We're gonna go up and down, okay? Boom, so we're just getting in that aspect. Now if you wanna get crazy, you can come in here, all right? and hold, that'll get you a good scap load, that's fine. Um, but I like it. I like this one right here, it's giving me some good, you want rock right here, up and down, feels good, right? So as you can see, the cool down is doing a big, it's doing a range of motion for stuff, right? It's getting you internal, external, then it's building the outside, then it's building the front, then it's building the side, it's building up, it's building the entire range of motion because that's how we work as pitchers, okay? Last one to this is going to be a physio ball. Hopefully you have one, get your best friend. Get in here, we're gonna go elbows in, and we're just gonna work here, okay? It's your scap loading, it's stability, it's planking, it's all those great things that we want, okay? That's another exercise. Here's the other one. Get in here and get in that back of the shoulders, down, up, down. You want to use this? You can just take the take the hook, the handles, come up and down, right? Back here, back here. That's what we want. Okay. If you want to get crazy and you feel good, you can get in here. I used to love these. I put a little pressure on it, right? And I get out for extension, right? That's extension. That full range of motion. Boom. And I just start working small right here. I used to love these. These things were huge for me because what it's doing is get my flexors in that full range so that when I'm out here, I'm nice and strong, right? So I'm just getting here. I'm using the heel of my hand into it. I could put more pressure. I could bring it back in if you want, right? But basically, it's kind of like the wall series, right? Where guys get a thing and they'll do that kind of stuff. So that one right there is outstanding. And then the last portion, which is really important for y'all, okay? This is one you don't want to miss. Flexors, okay? Flexors are this mass right here. When this goes, you go, okay? This is one of the first things that goes before this, okay? These are weak, it's not good. I threw breaking ball, I threw cutter, sinker, so I had a lot of this action, right? So when I would throw sinker, you get on the inside, you can see that outside flexor, bam. That one that inserts from here and goes all the way through, that one. That gives a lot of guys issues, right? Right in here, I'm sure. Hopefully you don't get to that point, but right in here, that insertion point, you feel that, right? Boom, okay? The other one is this, this mass right here. Guys who throw sliders, breaking balls, cutters, that kind of thing. Man, that mass right there, you can see that thing. I feel it right now, it's barking, but that mass, those flexors, you need. Then obviously your form and that kind of stuff. So at the very end of your cool down, you need some maintenance on that. Out on the fingers, Okay, bring it in, okay? So if I show you here, well, let's see. Well, you probably see it right here. So I'm gonna bring it in. And you can see that muscle, that's your flexor mass, that whole mass 
coming. You want to build that, right? So you can do it like this if you want, but just don't go crazy on it, right? I personally like doing them like this, right? Feels good. And I'll kind of turn in, so I'll actually turn my wrist in because the more you turn this way, the better it is for it, right? So I'm going to come in a little, boom, okay, get some of that. I'm going to get this top one, right? Right there. So a lot of guys will go like this and do it. Okay, that's fine. You can see it moving. You can see it moving. Okay, that's a good way to do it. Then I'm going to get sideways. So I'm going to do it right-handed here for you. But I'm going to get sideways. And that one will get the bottom portion of your flexors. So you got kind of the top portion here. Okay, top portion. You got the bottom portion, so to speak. Right, it's going to get a little of this. Then you've got the top right here, this flexor mass which is big, you need to have that secured for you when you're throwing, especially when you're getting all the whip and that kind of stuff, okay? And if you want, you can get on the back end, like, like you bring it back here and do, do that top one this way, right? You can just go like that. So just try the different variables, right? To get that top, if you don't feel comfortable like this, get it that way. But for these ones up front, you wanna be here and here, okay? I just like that right there, that's, that's what I feel. But here's the biggest portion of that. Make sure your fingers are fully extended. Don't be in here and do that. That right here, so the more that your, the less that your fingers are extended, the more it does this, which is really not what we're looking at. We wanna be out wide to come in, right? Wide to come in. There we at, okay? So that's your post cool down. You've got your arm circles, internal, external, right? You're hitting your, your cuff. Then you're hitting your scap, your scap loading, right? Then you're hitting your flexors. Then you're hitting all your torsion stuff, right? Check them all out. Check all those videos out on our website. You can find a whole mass of them. We've got a full uh, line of products to help you get to the big leagues, as well as we've got programming and that kind of stuff online to help you out.